Morning guys. Alright, this is a follow on from yesterday. Uh, having that uh, 1x that was dead. This is a working 1x. <coughs> this is my one. Uh, it's got a slight um, video artifact, but to be honest, it's never been a problem because it's how new PS now and again. So, all I'm going to do is take this one apart and build up a, a database of voltages and resistances. Uh, to add to the one Chris has started, the board is the board that's um, not particularly happy. <laughs> um, it's going to take some references. Right, what we're doing, feeding it in directly with 12 volts straight from bench power supply. And the control chip on here, um, basically after a bit of faffing about, is definitely uh, shutting the, the, uh, the unit down. But not having any real reference voltages or anything to go on, or a great deal, um, it's difficult to be certain as to why so to get some references what I should do is take some voltage readings um, as I say from one that's not working and we'll uh, do some is just going to frame up the meter um, what we want is over there so let's just have a quick look see what we got here right I'm actually using the meter I've blocked out so let's just move the scope over there at the moment we're using the Rigol and on here um, so what we need let's see what we got uh, I think it must have uh, shut down because it's not reading and I'll just reboot that and check that we got okay 12 volt I've set it at 2 amp um, with a trip on the 4 amp okay so I'll shut that off again for a moment so I'll pop this in and we'll just see what we get so we're gonna we're on standby now, so on standby, we're only drawing ooh, 12 milliamps, very little. Um, but all the standby voltages are there. But she is peaking at 20 watts there, I don't know if you see it very quickly. But anyway, let's leave that at that. So what I'm going to do now is take this one apart and we'll start comparing. So what I should do, I should pause, pause the video for a minute and then come back when this thing is all in bits. Um, now this is the one that, uh, this is mine, this is the one with a peculiar graphics artifact which only just about shows up, um, anything with a white background you can get this weird artifact and as I say I've not actually looked at it, it was one I brought, very cheap. But looking at it, it certainly needs a uh, new paste and it's got some staining on the back as well, mild. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clean this board up. That's the working one. Um, this is the one that's uh, beep on, beep off. So I'm um, just going to make a little note on here what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put beep on there so I don't get mixed up right so we we'll pop that down there all right I'm going to give this one a clean and um, once I've done that we'll start taking some readings and um, we'll see where we go from there right <coughs> I've now got the board hooked up, this is the working board, I've got the meters hooked up, so what we'll do is, um, we're on standby, so we've got 12 volts running, um, but nothing is powered on. When I powered this on, by the way, um, guys, uh, initially it drew, I think it went up to about 24 watts before settling down to 1220 milliwatts. So, as I say, this is a working board, so I've got to be a little bit careful. Right, so you've got the meter here, we're on uh, DC volts, so what I'm going to do is go around uh, the test points and uh, we'll get them down. I don't think there's any necessary necessity for me to record all the test points, but 
what I'll do is use this thing on the head because I can't get the microscope out so I'm having to use the um, the mini one as I call it to find the right test point one I'm being very careful because I don't want to damage a good board um, at the moment and we got um, this should be well that will be the on um, 3.3 volt but as I say at the moment that's not the standby one so TP1 in standby is half a volt so that's 500 millivolts so I'll mark that in so uh, TP1 is 500 millivolts in standby Okay, now the standby, uh, where is the standby rail? 3.3, test point 10, isn't it? Test point 10, here we go. So, test point 10 is indeed 3.3 volts on standby. I've not even got the board, front board on, so that's just purely 12 volts being fed in. Um, you can use pacify, I'm just using the bench one because I can see what uh, current is drawing and the, and the, the watts. So, test point 10 is indeed okay. Uh, 3.3 volt standby, so we'll mark that down. That's test point 10, 3.3 volt, good. Um, right, let's just go through these as I find them now then. So, test point 2, which is VSOC, which well, shouldn't be on because it's not powered on. So yeah, that's not on. So test point two is negligible. Um, it's got about 29 millivolts on it. So we'll put that down as uh, 29 millivolts. This is the same standby. TP3 is VBAT. And that's not going to be a great deal of difference, I don't think, is it? Oh, right, okay. So on there, we've got 1.833 volts. CP4, I have no idea where that is. There's a bit of a job to see with all these cables everywhere. So what I'm going to do, I'll carry on with this. Um, I'm going to pause the video here and then I'll, uh, I'll come back to it. That'll save you sitting here getting bored anyway. Right, so far. Um, I did try and power it up off my 10 amp supply and of course it won't have it. <laughs> so it gets to start the boot, it just shuts the power supply down. Uh, I'm not surprised really, I realised um, it actually pulls nearly 20 amps when it's booting. So what I've done, I've just basically used the power supply uh, it's and two very very short leads, otherwise it doesn't work. You've got to keep them short otherwise you get too much volts drop across these here. So it's booting now. Um, I've just had to shut it down because I can't run it too long. Because obviously, there's no heat sinks on all of it, just some of it. And I don't want to take a chance of getting it too hot. But we've got some of the voltage rails, but unfortunately, a lot of them are underneath the fan and everything. So I'm going to have to remove the fan and see if I can work some other way of cooling it um, to get the other readings that uh, are hidden and then because the three readings off the back of the board but we'll get there but so far these are all for a working board we've got standby voltages we've got DC resistance uh, and then we've got the diode reading and then we're working on voltages while booted and all these readings are being taken with a, a Keysight 34465A which is quite uh, it's a six, um, six digit after the point so it's reasonably accurate and it's calibrated up to 23 so we got this most new so we should be pretty okay with these so what we do I'm going to press on and uh, as soon as I get this done I'll uh, try and get all this posted up and I'll put it up with the video and then at the same time I'm going to look at this one so we can find out what this odd uh, artifact is that comes up on uh, certain video conditions right I'm uh, gonna have to pause it again here right well I'm making progress I have to say though this is getting very precarious 
Um, I've had to sort of whip it up on its end so I can read the uh, the supply off the back of the board. But um, we're getting there. As I say, this as I say, I've been good because it gives us a full set of uh, readings for working. Uh, seen uh, non-boot mode, boot mode, uh, which is um, normal running, and of course resistance and diode. So, um, what I'm going to do now is try and get the readings off the uh, off the bottom of the board, and uh, then we'll continue. Right, okay, guys, we're back together. We've got all the readings. Um, now, I'm going to try and see if we can't uh, demonstrate the weird problem I got with this one. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, can you see it? I don't know if you can see that. There you go, you can just see it. Those lines in the background. That's the issue. So that's uh, what I've got to sort out, but as I say, that's going to be for another day. This uh, was just about getting all these readings sorted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this box down before it gets too hot. And I'll uh, see if we can't bring up the readings um, for the uh, 1X. Sorry guys, just bear with me a second, I'm just trying to frame it down a little bit so it's not quite so big. Yeah, okay. Right, this was a um, combination of myself and Chris, I fix it. Um, what these are, these are all being done on a Keysight meter that is uh, calibrated, so these are reasonably accurate. Um, you've got your standby voltages which is basically just pass supply plugged in then you've got um, your power booted now that's basically once it's been booted and uh, yeah booted to desktop that's the readings for the power booted so I was just got distracted with the message uh, DC resistances basically powered off just let it discharge for a while they're all DC values uh, all measured with negative to ground and then the diode readings are all read as you know in diode mode and positive to ground so there you go um, short little video or it will be once I glued it all together and then what I should do is do a part three possibly which or a second part to this one to say about the graphic problem and the second part to the first one that uh, I gave up on yesterday so thanks guys and uh, catch you later